Hey guys, we have the Beats Solo 3 wireless headphones and in case the battery of your headphones doesn't last very long anymore or it simply just doesn't want to charge at all, then it's probably time to replace the battery. So that's what we want to show you here in this video. Now the battery is located on the outside portion of the right ear cup. That's the one with the uh, button on the side and the uh, USB charging port. So the first thing we have to do is to remove the cover, so the side cover here. This is relatively easy to do. When you feel along the edge of the plastic here, then you will feel this little uh, gap there. And we just need a little prying tool. And I'm using here the uh, nail file of my uh, Swiss Army knife. And we're just going to go in there. So any flat type of tool should work here. So just work your way into this little gap. Uh, make sure not to go too deep because there's some electronics in there and you don't want to accidentally damage those. So you will notice relatively quickly that uh, there's uh, two pieces that are going to separate. And you're also going to hear this a little bit, a couple of clicking sounds that uh, the two pieces are detaching. And when we're doing this really carefully, it should actually be possible to detach the two pieces here without leaving any scratch marks. Now, eventually we're going to be able to detach the outside plastic piece. And when we do so, we want to be really careful because there's a couple of small wires attached to the outer piece. So see these here on the bottom? Make sure not to tear those off by accident because then it would just uh, create a lot of extra work for us. And now we already see here the original battery. And this is connected to the uh, board here on the lower right corner. There you see this little uh, connector actually. So we can detach this connector really easily. Just uh, push the uh, connector here out of there near to the right. Should be really easy with a small tool. And now it's time to remove the actual battery and the battery is glued onto the headphones really well so they used a really strong adhesive. So I'm going to use here my uh, little uh, Swiss Army knife again. I'm going to try to uh, detach the adhesive here by just sliding this in from uh, behind the battery. See this? So they are using some adhesive tape. And now I'm carefully sliding here my uh, nail file right behind the battery trying to go as far in as possible. And I'm doing this uh, trying not to puncture the battery. Definitely don't puncture the battery that may actually be creating some smoke or eventually the uh, battery may go up in flames. So you want to be really careful with that. And also I'm trying to not to bend the battery because that would be not so good for it either. So we see here I'm carefully and slowly working my way down there. And eventually you'll be able to remove the battery completely. Okay, so now here we have the original battery. Let me show you the, the uh, label, the front label, so you can uh, check this out. I am also going to post a link to a replacement battery to order from Amazon below. So in case you need help finding that, uh, there will be a link down there. And when we install our new battery, we want to use uh, the adhesive tape again. And also make sure to have uh, the battery in the right orientation. You see here this little board that's attached to the battery on the right side. This is the battery management board. Make sure that this is in the same location. And when reconnecting the battery, look at the connector for those three little uh, slots there. Those should be facing up. Those should be facing towards us. So that's the uh, right orientation. And then it's, it is a little bit tricky to get the uh, connector back in there, but eventually you will manage. Also, don't put too much pressure onto the connector here on the board. Uh, we don't want to accidentally rip that off. Okay, so now we can already reinstall everything. So first we slide here the uh, headband in here and then make sure that the wires are not in the way for the cover. because so now we're going to uh, line this up correctly and then we have to uh, use uh, quite a bit of pressure to reattach the outside cover to the rest of the ear cup. And you should be able to uh, hear some clicking sounds and that lets us know that we are going the right way here. So you see you go work your way all the way around and eventually the cover is completely reattached and the uh, battery replacement is completed. And that's it for this video. So I hope this was helpful. And if you have any more questions or comments, then please leave a message below.